Oh, I feel like I just broke his wrist. Sorry, dude. <laughs> that's his bowling arm, too. <laughs> <laughs> He's a lefty, that's weird. Yeah. yeah. What's up, y'all? I'm Timothy D'Alaghetto, and this is Acquired Taste, the show where I try to find all types of unique foods from different cultures and try them out with my friends. Oh, that mercy. Country. Oh, yeah. Really good. Today, we're in Jackson Heights, NYC, a multicultural hub where you can find all types of cuisine from Latin American and South Asian countries. We're here to try some kui. That's a guinea pig. Yeah, that's right, the little fuzzy, furry, cute little things. Now, I know guinea pigs might be raised as pets in the United States, but in Peru, they are raised to be eaten. People in the Andes have been grubbing on this beloved delicacy for generations. The guinea pigs are usually roasted whole or sometimes fried, and a lot of people say it kind of tastes like rabbit. The dish is commonly eaten during religious festivals, and it's so popular, there's even a version of The Last Supper that shows Jesus and his apostles grubbing on some guinea pigs. Today we got Tom Sandoval and Ariana Maddox from Vanderpump Rules joining me to eat some kui at Urubamba. I heard that Tom and Ariana are some pretty adventurous eaters to begin with. They've even tried iguana pasta, so I'm super hyped to see what they think of the guinea pig. But first things first, let's go see how this bad boy is made. How you doing? Hey, how Tim, are you, man? How nice you to doing? meet you. Chef Enrique, how long have you been cooking Peruvian food? 42 years or so. Yeah? Yes. My mom was a chef, but then I saw my mom getting too tired, mm. and I slipped into the kitchen. Damn. Tell me about this cuy. Well, I mean, it's it goes back all the way to the Incas. The traditional value is fantastic. Yeah? Oh, the traditional value is better than your red beef, your chicken. Really? And, yes. Well, see, that's crazy because I always feel like there's a lot of animals we're not eating that, and we're missing out on certain nutritional yeah. things they might be bringing to our bodies, you know? Right, yeah, it, it takes a little kind of getting used to it. My first kui I had when I was five years old. Mm. My grandmother, she used to grow uh, kuis in the, in the roof. On the roof? Yes, she used to have this little cage there and stuff like that. Are there just like a lot of, a lot of guinea pigs running around Peru or what? No, like, no, no. <laughs> it, it, like everybody just has their own stash. Oh, all right. <laughs> How do you prepare it? I like my kui in the oven. It's mostly on special occasions. Uh, because it's uh, well here it's a little expensive mm, I over see. there they run like ten dollars or so a kui over here it's more like twenty seven dollars twenty seven for one for one, for one wholesale local. wholesale wholesale from Costco uh, yes <laughs> <laughs> okay show me how you prepare this thing okay now first in Peru, we're accustomed to eating it with all the insides, you know, right. like the kidney, the heart, and all that stuff. I like but that stuff. Over here, we take them out. Some <laughs> people are really, they have enough just looking at the animal now with all the stuff inside. Looking at this right now is, you know, throwing me off a little bit. Okay. I feel like I'm in science class, you know? Like the little frog? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> all right. Now, what we have here is salt, cumin, mm -hmm. garlic, ají amarillo, and ají panca, which is also pepper and just regular black pepper. Okay. Uh, why do you think not too many people eat guinea pig in the United States? Most of all, because they started out as pets. As I, <laughs> I used to have guinea pigs as pets, you know, but yeah, yeah, yeah. my kids also. Tell you, his little feet are throwing me off, man. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, the nails are there. His <laughs> teeth are there, everything is in there. That's it. We're ready to put them in the oven. Cool. I can't wait to taste this. I got some guests coming right now. Okay. I'm excited to see what else you're going to cook for us today. And I'm hungry. Yeah. Well, you come to the right place. Well, I'm, I'm ready to see how little uh, little Felix tastes. Give it a name. It gets too personal. <laughs> a little too personal. All right. We're not going to name him. All right. See ya. I'll see you in a while. Uh, what's up, guys? Yes, yeah. yes. I'm so excited. Are you guys hungry? I'm starving. Yes. I have not eaten anything today in preparation for this meal. Oh, yeah? All right. Yeah. Cool. Do you like Peruvian food, though? I love Peruvian food. Ceviche, to me, is the perfect food. It is flawless. Okay, we got some good Peruvian food coming your way. Some, some basic stuff. And then, and then you know, we're going to work our way up 
Because, you know, this show is all about expanding your horizons and your taste buds a little bit. I love I'll tell it. you right now, the finale of this, I haven't had it either. Yeah, you know I mean? so we're all in this we're, together. We're all, yeah. This is like a well, bonding experience <laughs> right now. This. Okay, let's bring on the food. Yes! yes. Oh, I'm starving. Hey guys, how are you What's in? up, bro? How's all it going? Good, all good. Thank Happy you. to have you here. So what do you have for us here? We have ceviche mixto made Ooh. with raw fish and seafood. Lime juice, improving corn. I rep in the coast. For us, ceviche is the one thing that you will always have. Yeah. And also parihuela, which I, is- I really wanted this, because this is like my shit. It's super traditional with seafood. After a big party night, very good, good pick me up. Woo! Yummy. Also, there's oyukito, which is root vegetable with beef. Also some uh, grilled octopus Ooh, for you. Oh, that looks fire. Oh, that looks fire. So and there's a stew that it's made with beef, garlic, Onion, cilantro, you name it. All right, Appreciate guys, enjoy. It. Thank, Thank you. you. I don't even know where to start. Maybe start with your ceviche, because yeah, that's your shit. Yeah. You love right. your ceviche. I do. Okay. This is incredible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. Okay. You get some tang, some spice. It's you know what's bomb when you when there. you take a bite and do the... Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you guys aren't like very picky eaters. No. This Ariana oh really opened up my eyes when it came to different food. I mean, I had never even tried like pad thai. I had only had just like basic ramen. Oh man, not even the yeah. real ramen. Yeah, like the yeah. package ramen. That's a good woman right there. She's awesome. Yeah. Thanks, and that's guys. one of her many, many <laughs> things. When I was little, my mom would make sure that we were eating like variety of things right. because she grew up in a family where like, I feel like there was a lot of like picky eating and so mm. she was kind of trying to force it so that I wouldn't be like the- Is there anything that you guys wouldn't eat. I'd have a hard time eating something that was like alive. Okay. I guess I wouldn't eat like a wouldn't dog eat. or a cat. Mm, but yeah. like if it's like a survival situation, it's kind of like Tom. You know, you might start looking real juicy. Yeah. <laughs> you can eat me if I if I if I die when in the wild. What do you okay. think is like your most like um, like delicious part of your body if she was to eat you? Um, I would say. My ass. Yeah, you know what? I was thinking the same thing. Not oh, about my... your ass, but my ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The right bicep there. might be kind of nice. Okay. The, the calf. When oh, you walked in, you I said that to myself. Legs, yeah. I was like, that boy got good calves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My thighs, I feel like, would be a good oh, yeah. source of protein for a long good. time. Cheers to your thigh meat. Yeah. Yeah, cheers to my thigh meat. Yeah. Cheers. cheers. <laughs> By the way, guys, the I've hot never sauce done that is before. no. Joke. I see. I see you getting a little red right Dude, now. Bro. Yeah, it's no <laughs> joke, man. Okay, so this right here, this is like my shit. It's like a seafood soup thing. Ooh, it's like okay. the essence of some yeah. okay. seafood, like shrimp and shellfish. It's all up in it. Oh my I gosh! Don't. Right? That tastes like I'm not from Peru, obviously, <laughs> but it tastes like home. Mm. Right? You know what I mean? It very. No, I got you. It's comforting. Yeah. I'm sometimes a little weird about clams because there was a clam that like didn't open, and I opened it and ate it. Oh, oh you're yeah, not he got a bad. To do that. Yeah, he got I a bad. I didn't know one. that. See, I'm still learning. <laughs> right. Sometimes like, you just gotta poop, let them man. let them learn, you know, <laughs> like on their own. Yeah, if they don't open by oh. themselves, you're supposed to leave them alone. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it knocked the cool out of my walk. That's probably yeah. that way. <laughs> he was scarred. Oh, I God. was. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so good. Yeah, that's fire. That's great though. Do you want some? Yeah, I'll take some, I'll take some. Yeah. Thank you. So good. <laughs> Chunks of onions in there, adds a little nice little sweetness to... It has a slight Asian vibe to it too. You know what, it's crazy that you said that because there's actually a lot of Chinese and Japanese influence on Peruvian cooking. No, no way. way, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, so wow. it's like oh a gosh. little stir fry situation, yeah. onions yeah, and yeah, meat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How's it working and doing stuff all the time with your like significant other? We both bartend. Bartend. Mm -hmm. And we worked together for like three years before we were ever even together seeing each other. So we'll go back into like just work mode. Mm, yeah, got you. Like we kind of. Uh, you know when to turn it on and turn it off. Yeah. yeah also, we have uh, we have our cocktail book coming out December 3rd. I was just going to bring that up. Yes. 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 And we, Tell me about your book. It, it's called Fancy AF Cocktails, comes out December 3rd. Mm -hmm. and it's everything from classy to trashy mm. and it's also really like if you're not a bartender if you're not a mixologist it's like that's that's who we wrote the book for is for your everyday non-bartending people damn that's a that's lit yeah. thanks well, like, obviously you'd like to go on lots of adventures I feel like there's something coming here I got, I got, so, I got something adventurous <laughs> oh, for wow. you like I said earlier you know I've, I've never had this either okay and so this right here is a, is a Peruvian delicacy um, and it's called uh, Gui Okay. Sweet. And before sounds... I tell you what it is, I feel like let's just let's just look at it. <laughs> Last but not least. Okay. Kui for you guys. Okay. You now, now, please, can you tell us tell us about this now? Okay, so this is very traditional from the mountains. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know it looks a little scary, but it's actually quite delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, the meat itself is actually also very very uh, nutritious, low fat, very lean, 
so it's good protein. Looks like a flying squirrel caught in mid-flight. <laughs> it, it's butterfly right now, and it's, it does look like what, it's, yeah. it's, a, what it's is a guinea this? pig. It's, it's a, a guinea, guinea pig. pig. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I had hamsters Sentiment. growing up, so I did. Too. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. It's a little, a little different than a hamster. Well, one it's of them bit bigger. me at one point, so it this is. is maybe my revenge. This is yeah. This is like the universe yeah. giving you a chance to get yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So this is very traditional from the mountains in Peru. Okay. Actually, uh, people have them running around their houses, and then when it's time to have dinner. Well, you know, <laughs> they, they get one ready. So there's actually a funny story about the head. Oh, tell us, okay? please. So oh, if yeah. you once you eat it and you kind of take it apart, there's gonna be a really teeny tiny bone that looks like a fox. Okay. So a it's box? yes, it's like this big. It's really really small, and it's tradition in Peru to put that in a cup. Okay. Okay, and you serve that with chicha or beer or wine or any kind of alcohol at a party or whatever, mm -hmm. and then you drink it. So oh, the person you swallow that, it. If you take a gulp of the drink and you get it in your mouth, that's that's supposedly good luck. All right. Yes. It's funny looking, but it's really, and it's really like small. up in here somewhere? It's inside the Ooh. head. <laughs> yeah, so you do have to take it apart. How would you suggest you the head? getting into this? Like we just cut just, into it? Yeah, I just cut into just it. Just like little... Yes, yeah, so it's going to have very teeny tiny bones, so be careful. Be careful, okay. Um, but yeah, enjoy. Cool, wow. thank you. Of course. All right. Y'all ready for this? I'm ready for this. Let's yeah. do it. You ready for this? <laughs> I'm, I'm, re I'm ready. Oh, you guys are cool, man. Yeah, yeah we're doing man. it. Let's, Dude, we're doing it. it. Let's get it. Well, hey, uh, uh, you're my guest, so sure. after you. Sure, yeah. Oh. I'll hold his shoulders But still. if you block this off, it just kind of looks like duck. Well, you know what? That's a thing. If you don't see his face, yeah. you don't really know what it is anyways. Oh, he's winking at me. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. Cheers. 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 Do it. Dequeet. Dequeet. Cheers to little queen. Oh, the meat wow. is actually pretty soft. Yeah. The meat is soft, tender. The, uh, the, meat the is skin, soft. that the skin, was chewy. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. it's You've been in like a like a luau or like had like lechon, like the pig. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. like the suckling pig. Yeah, like a suckling pig. Yeah. It's soft and it kind of tastes like a dark meat chicken. Right. Like a little softer. Pork. Yeah. A little bit softer. Like pork. For me, it, it breaks apart like some pork for sure. Um, yeah. We get a little hot sauce on there actually. Oh yeah, I'm that too. I kind of want to get into like, I what's like, going on here? I need like, more, I need to see what's going on. Oh, I feel like I just broke his wrist. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> that's his bowling arm, too. <laughs> <laughs> He's a lefty, that's weird. Yeah. yeah. My cousin, he's like six years old. Okay. He has a pet guinea pig. So if you ever accidentally right. like sit on it or something. Well, then just cook it up. We'll have to get this recipe then. So Ooh. this guy right here. They took out all his guts and intestines and stuff, but... Oh, I appreciate that. Apparently in Peru, you know, they eat all of that. In really? There. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, you know, like science class dissection. Bruh, that's but, literally... But just, like, eat it. When we were preparing it, that's literally what I said, what I thought of. Really? Should I go after the head? Off with this head type Do thing? it, do it, do it! All right, let's do it. Oh my god. <coughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Ooh, yeah, that's oh intense. Oh my god. Ooh. All right, now what are you gonna do? <laughs> you have to take it apart to get the bone. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. I'm, I'm working on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, look, you you can have the fox bone if you find it. I know, you're doing yeah. Right John Travolta, Nicolas Cage, Face <laughs> Off, Part Two, <laughs> right here. <laughs> Tracy's with the guinea pig. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Did you find it? Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Oh. Wow, it's coming off like a Mission Impossible mask. Oh, <laughs> oh god. <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, Tom. Uh, this is oh, good some stuff. animal lector shit this is right good here. Stuff. So we can eat this, right? Oh my god, it's got teeth. Hey, you are a G, bro. Hell yeah. Uh, I mean, Tinder. Oh. Wait, is this it? Does it look like a fox? I think it does. Let me see. I think it does. Like, if you look at it, kind of. Oh, I see what you're saying. But what if it's like, you, you find the bone that looks like a fox, and that's good luck. And if you find the bone that looks kind of like a fox, you die. You do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Alejandro, so Think, I'm going for it. Yeah. Is he, this it right here? Did he find it? Is that it? Is that too big? No, no, yeah, it's too big. It's very small. It's gonna be like smaller. towards the middle. So does it look like the head of a fox or like the full body of a fox? It likes the full, full body. Like what? All right, let's just get a bunch of uh, guinea pig heads out here so I can just do it. <laughs> I'll let the kitchen know. <laughs> oh my God, the is brain. That, the brain? that is the brain. That is the brain. The gray matter, right? Don't mm. they say that? Yeah, yeah. It's gray. Ah. Guys, I want some good luck. He's like, I'll get all the luck I can take. Okay, well. I looked. Or maybe you're not supposed to have the luck, dude. Damn. Yeah, maybe it's not meant for you. I didn't find it, but are we still friends? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man, shake Hell on yeah, it. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, 
Well, hey, look, I'm not mad at the point at all. It was way juicier, more flavorful than I would have thought. Yeah, more for tender. sure. Like super tender, like a really tender, tiny pork, you know, with some chewier totally. skin. If you bring it out with the feet and the face, it, every anything looks a little crazy. Of yeah. course. You know? yes. It looks a little like, wow, okay. Well, cheers. Cheers. Cheers, cheers to you guys. Hey, thanks for coming you. through. Yeah. My pleasure. Hmm. Shout out to my super special guest for coming through. Thank you so eating much for having us. And, 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 and going on this squee right here. You never know. You might like it, you might not. But at the end of the day, just try it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying, yeah. Yes, I know greasy saying. brain yeah. hands. Yeah. You got, now you have greasy brain hands, too. I do. Too. Now we all do. Hey y'all, thanks for watching, and if y'all wanna check out another dope thriller show, you need to check out my boy Marlon Webb's show called Nuke With Me because it has me cracking up. Apparently there's a whole bunch of food that you can cook in the microwave and it's still fire. You ever try cooking steak in the microwave? I haven't, but apparently it's tasty. Check it out every Tuesday on Thrillist.